to do when you go to your dress fitting. <laughs> okay, hello quinceañeras, future quinceañeras, past quinceañeras, and present quinceañeras. Yeah. I'm Itzo from Itzo Jaime's Choreography, in case y'all don't know from all my Instagram pictures and everything. And these are two of my cadets. My name is Juan. <laughs> I'm Arius. Uh, I'm the Waco cadet number four. Uh, it's your boy Sunny behind the camera though, <laughs> behind the scenes. Today we're going to talk about going to your dress fitting. Um, so I am a choreographer but for some of y'all that don't know I also organize your quinceañera and kind of I'm usually along the quinceañera giving her tips and telling you know give her helping her organize herself throughout the whole quinceañera so including her mom and dad and everything like that. Today we're going to go through dress fitting tips and what you can do to you know whenever you're going to go to your dress fitting before your dress fitting all of that first of all you have to find out whatever boutique you're going to go to you have to find out if you're going to need a dress fitting appointment the reason that boutiques have appointments is because they want to be able to concentrate on just you imagine trying to like get 10 different girls ready at the same time and each girl wants like five six you know ten different dresses like it, it, it gets pretty confusing and really it ha there's a lot of havoc in that so make sure that you try and book your appointment with time um, I recommend that you start booking dress fitting appointments about eight to six months before your quinceañera or um, even if it's a year before that way you kind of start getting an idea of what type of colors what type of styles if you want ruffles if you want an A-line um, dress if you want a really poofy one ruffles no ruffles I mean it really just depends if you want different layers or anything like that. Choosing your color and style that really depends on your theme or what types of colors you like. I had a girl who had a um, Aladdin themed quinceañera so she wanted a you know a mint colored dress with gold accents on it. Um, her court had a uh, purple you know it really just depends on your theme. Now if you don't have a theme and you really don't want to go by a theme I would usually, whenever you go to dress fittings, I would do, um, I would try on different colors and see which one you like better on yourself. Um, there's some girls that really can't do champagne because the color washes them out. So like me, I'm, I'm really pale, so I can't really have any champagne colors or, or anything like that. Any, any colors that are too bright. Um, oh my gosh, <laughs> scary. It just really depends on your skin tone and what you like. Um, same thing, do you want a strapless dress? Do you want a dress that, that, um... Ooh, do I have one? What are you looking for? I got this dress. Okay. It's like, I don't know if you can zoom in. Yeah, I got you. But this has a halter top dress and it kind of covers you up here. Um, there's just really different dresses. I mean, there's dresses that have this so that it hangs off of your, off your shoulder. It just really depends. There's dresses with sleeves. There's, there's just different styles of dresses that, um, that you're gonna want to, you know, see. Oh, look, there you go. Arius has one with sleeves. Yeah, a sleeve dress. See? Put it on. No. <laughs> so it just really depends what style of dress you want i mean like i said there, your appointment is really for that so you can you can go throughout the store make sure that you've gone and tried out different um styles strapless a heart strapless straight across strapless um it just really depends um that day whenever you go to your appointment make sure if you I think that a lot of girls, whenever they try on a dress, they really want to look pretty. And if they, if for any reason you feel like you don't, you know, you kind of want to feel like it's that day of your quinceañera in a way. So if anything, what I would do is um, put on light makeup, something natural looking, nothing too heavy because the same thing, um, you don't want to get any of the dresses dirty at the boutique. Um, it's a really big hassle to kind of get makeup out and you really don't want to see like half of your face come off on the dress. Um, your hair, I would really recommend putting your hair up or into braids or something like that. More because when they're doing the corset, your hair can get caught in it. Your hair gets staticky because of you're putting dresses on and off. There's just different things that you really don't want to be, you know, having to to 
struggle with that day. So put up your hair, um, put it up in a bun, um, braids, one full braid, a little updo, just something cute. That way you kind of get an idea of how you want to feel that day. You also have a chance to kind of try on crowns that day. So depending on how you want your hair somewhat, so in like a little updo or, or hair down with curls, I would suggest kind of wearing your hair like that when you're going to go look for crowns. To your dress fitting, I really recommend taking the shoes that you're planning on wearing. So if you're planning on wearing your boots, take those. If you're planning on wearing heels, your flats, whatever you're going to wear, I really recommend taking that because it, it makes, you know, you kind of get a feel of what your dress is going to look like with those shoes. One final thing. I have a lot of girls call up here to make an appointment at the boutique that I work at and they always ask, do we charge for a fitting? This store doesn't charge, but I live in Waco, so all these stores don't charge. Um, we do make appointments. The um, A place where I have heard that they make, they do charge, is usually in bigger cities, so like Dallas, Houston. I know a uh, big brand, um, Quinceañera Boutiques, really uh, charge for the, for the fittings. So I really recommend asking when you make the appointment whether they charge or don't it's just that way you kind of see if it's if it's really worth going to their store or not or even if you have to before you even make an appointment and you know they charge just kind of look from the outside of their store and see if like if it's even worth going into that store because if they charge and they only have like what a few sample dresses i really don't recommend going in there you know um also make sure that you kind of do your research on brand names because you don't want to go and find out that you're being overpriced for a dress that's like a copycat unless you really like that dress but you want to make sure that it's good quality you know quinceanera dresses also have designers so kind of like gucci and what are others nike, nike jordan, jordan puma stuff like that polo, you, you, polo there we go you want to get <laughs> you don't want to get the shacks and of one. the Jordans. <laughs> so, but when you're getting brand name of a quinceañera dress, you're also you're you're not only buying the dress, you're you're getting the quality that comes with it. You know, um, Maury Lee, House of Wu, House of Wu has quinceañera collection and fiesta collection. Uh, Ragasa Fashion, they're they're from Mexico. They're handmade dresses from Jalisco. Um, else okay so sherry hill has some ball gowns that aren't super huge for the girl that wants something like that is a ball gown but it's small you know um she'll have some ball gowns that that a, a lot of quinceañeras will also get because not every quinceañera wants something huge and poofy and over the top you know so that that always works too so i'm um, back to pick up on what she's saying you know, she has different dresses of different varieties, and you know, and also, you know, you got them ghetto kids that don't like to pay attention, you know, that are loud and disruptive. You know, just hire the Waco cadets. Like, we're the best at Waco. We have no competition. Like, plain and simple. Like, just, just give us. That's it for today's. It's a talk. Story time with Itzel! That's what we should call it, okay? So, for those that don't know, a lot of people don't know, I usually have like my meetings with kids after practice and I usually call it Story Time with Itzel. So that's what we're gonna call these segments no, now. No, no. Yes, we're calling it Story Time with Itzel. Yeah, that is. Itzel's tips. No. <laughs> this, this is the first. Um... The name's in progress. How about yeah. that? Okay, you know what? Right now, it's gonna Keeping be... Keeping up with Itzel. No. <laughs> Keeping it 100 with Itzel. No, okay. Story time with Itzel. Today was our first segment of Story In the time Waco Cadets. With Itzel. And yeah, with a special guest. Waco featuring Cadets. our special guest. Wait, get the sunny. I got you. Hey. My turn. <laughs> we out. <laughs> this word is uh,